So now the chapter ends of this amazing saga in how Trump attempted to overthrow the government. As uh, <clears throat> I think we're now at a point where all where a lot of the questions have been answered, questions about why did Robert Mueller want to get on the mega yacht so badly? Because when he got onto the mega yachts, that's where the that's where the deals were happening. And so these mega yachts, these large yachts in international waters, people are having meetings where they think that they're not going to be picked up. Uh, you know, intelligence agencies are not going to be able to pick up uh, those those meetings. So uh, when we went into the communications with Robert Mueller, when you are practicing heart-centered remote viewing, I had a nap, That's and I don't have makeup. <laughs> I had a nap. I worked all day and fell asleep. Anyway, so, <clears throat> some, so people had asked if I could just fine, uh, you know, uh, uh, fine-tune the thing on Robert Mueller, because they had a little, uh, some questions. So, what happened was that Robert Mueller told us that as a federal agent, he was having, because we pick up thought forms in HCRV, the closer that the more and more intimate you get with another person through love, the more you're going to be able to sense or pick up things in the astral field, including thoughts or ideas. So that's how we, that's how we get information from Robert Mueller. The thought forms are there if you know how to feel, sense, or read them. So basically what he told us was that federal agents were frustrated because they couldn't get on the boats and they couldn't, they were having trouble with some of their informants. Uh, Steve Bannon was one of the informants that was sort of cooperating. He, I guess he had previously worked for the Pentagon. He was a PR guy that had made, he was making his money. He was one of the tricksters like Roger Stone, the final guy, Adam Wal Al Waldman. Adam Waldman, the nice Christian boy, right? We think, what? Well, I don't know. The other interesting thing about Adam Waldman is he's married to a blonde German girl. So you, you can't help but wonder if this whole, if, if his own life is a lie so that he can live in a comic book, but that's a whole other conversation. But so that that's what happened. So finally, at the end of the story, Robert Mueller is able to confiscate the mega yachts. So that was, I know, can you believe every little thing? Mueller's, everything Mueller wanted, he, he basically got. And what he wanted was the mega yachts because when he got on the, when they got on the mega yachts, they were able to look for uh, recording devices and any kind of documentation. It wasn't just the yachts that they wanted. They also wanted information about these meetings with PR firms and foreign lobbyists. Yeah, now it's all coming together. Isn't that cool? Um, the other thing that Robert Mueller told us was that they were attempting to locate uh, when he was with the FBI, one of the things that they had been looking for is trying to get control of foreign lobbyists. Remember, he had talked about money overseas, and he had talked about the fact that they want foreign lobbyists to declare their money, and he talked to us about cryptocurrency and the fact that people were being paid in cryptocurrency, and so the feds were having trouble locating the money. Remember the whole thing that he went into? So that came up, the confirmation on that came up with the Adam Waldman article that I located in The Guardian, and I posted that <clears throat> a couple of days ago in my community feed. But basically what happened was that when I accessed records on one of the PR guys, the main guy, Adam Waldman, uh, I found that I, I fell into a conversation between him and somebody else. I, I don't know if it was Ben Salman, if it was Putin's people. I'm not sure who that guy was. But basically, 
he was working with Adam uh, Waldman and told Adam Waldman that they were going to be setting up an account. So they were setting up accounts, not only off the books for off the books clients and then paying these PR people. But the other thing that they were doing was giving them money to, the money that they would need to run these types of PR operations. And some of that money was also coming from questionable sources. So in this way, the American government had no knowledge or was having trouble tracking foreign governments that were working with foreign lobbyists. Because again, it goes back to what Robert Mueller had said, that he couldn't get on the boats. He didn't know what the conversations, he didn't know which, what the PR firms were doing. They were trying to locate the accounts. They were trying to get into the crypto. That's what happened there. So, the last, the last bit of information is that we are now facing midterms in November and the Republicans really want to win those midterms, which means that we're gonna see more hidden alt-right channels on TikTok, more hidden alt-right channels on YouTube and a more subtle ways in which the alt-right is attempting to get in, cooking channels, you know, these are uh, court TV, anything and everything that subliminally to come in and influence. And again, it goes back to more congressional hearings in the next couple of months. But the big heads up here, the big takeaway is that if something doesn't, if, if something doesn't happen soon, our, you know, our democracy is really ha uh, hanging by a thread and we really do have to have more congressional hearings about what's happening on, in social media. Um, okay, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.